So CLN2 belongs to the group of neuronal steroid lipofuscinosis or NCLs and that's the common name is Batten disease and today there are th at least 13 different forms of Batten disease, there are 13 different genes that can cause NCL diseases and uh, CLN2 is one of them, it's a lysosomal storage disorder and it's caused by a deficiency in a lysosomal enzyme um, which is called TPP1 or tripeptidyl peptidase 1. And um, in these children, there is very rapid neuronal loss in the brain. It's a one of the most common pediatric neurodegenerative disorders. Um, the children are completely normal until the age of about three years, three and a half, and then it starts with seizures, which are quickly followed by ataxia. They are not able to walk anymore. They fall frequently. They lose their ability to talk very rapidly. So by the age of five, five and a half, they are not able to walk and talk anymore and um, later on they're completely bedridden. They also lose their vision but later on in the disease stage it's different from other types of bad disease where the visual loss starts as a first symptom and the disease leads to an early death in these patients. Well today there's no cure for this disease. There is no causative treatment the only thing that we can do is to treat the symptoms. So you can try to treat the seizures with anti-epileptic drugs, but they're very hard to treat and it's almost not possible to have the children seizure free. There's a severe movement disorder that where symptoms can be improved somewhat, but we cannot stop the disease. We cannot completely stop the symptoms and um, there is no cure. But what can be done, I think, to improve quality of life in these children is to have a multidisciplinary team, not only of pediatricians, child neurologists. We collaborate with physical therapists, speech therapists, um, with other caregivers, teachers, to really look um, at the multitude of symptoms that these children have from a multidisciplinary point of view to kind of really talk to each other to see what can be done. We have learned in our NCL clinic in Hamburg that there are some anti-epileptic drugs that are not beneficial for the disease. There are others that work quite well. So we're collecting information on these drugs to see what works best in these children, what's best tolerated, and um, what else can be done. So we work closely with parents, closely with pa caregivers, physical therapists, so it's a really a multidisciplinary approach.